Now we're going to hook up the left sonar sensor and test it with some coke. So for that, you're going to need a partially assembled robot, um, a fritzing diagram, we're going to go over and find that, um, the code for the left sonar, and four female male wires, um, red, yellow, blue, and black. And you're also going to need one tiny black wire and one tiny red wire. So um, to get to the fritzing diagram, I thought that wire was going to pop out. <laughs> you're going to go to File, Open. You're going to go to the Challenge Bot folder, and then click on Build Stages, and then Left Sonar, and then you're going to open up this file. So on the printing diagram, here's the left sonar sensor. It's on the left. And on the real robot, here's the left sonar sensor. It's on the left. However, the um, sonar sensor that we're looking at on the left right here is facing away from us because we're looking um, down on top of the robot towards the front. This sonar sensor in the diagram is facing towards us. Both of them have pins coming out towards the center of the robot. What that means is that in order for these diagram, in order for the diagram to match up with the actual robot, you'd have to flip it over. What? Your hand blocks it for a second when you do that. Oh, sorry. That's all right. So this is an upside down sonar sensor, which totally matches this diagram. So this red wire right here on the diagram should connect here, which is actually on the top mm -hmm. for the real robot. Okay, Thanks. cool. Um, so all of these wires should be flipped um, on the real robot. So that means the red wire is actually on top. Also, there's little labels that you can just barely see here. So red is VCC. That label matches up to the actual label on the sonar sensor as well. So the top label here is VCC. Um, you might not have labels on the back of your robot. You might only have labels on the front, but there will be labels somewhere, most likely. Um, and so, yeah, so red goes to VCC. The next pin is trig, and that's going to be blue. So notice that I'm handling these by the black plastic housing. That's because they're really delicate. You don't want to handle them by the wires. And the metal part right here, there's like an open metal part. We're going to possibly use that to um, test connectivity later. So we want that to be accessible. So we're making them all face this way. Next, after VCC and trig, is echo, which is yellow. So I'm going to plug that in and then ground, which is black. Okay, cool. So those are all the wires connected to the sonar sensor. And they're red, blue, yellow, black, starting from the top. Okay, so red is gonna go to the power on the breadboard, which is this red line. We're gonna hook that up to actual power in just a little bit. Black is going to go to the ground. I'm going to have both of those metal parts point out this way so I can access them easily. Trig is going to go on one of these Arduino pins. And we can actually look in the code for the left sonar sensor. So right here it says left echo pin equals 11. I just said blue, but we're going to actually echo pin is yellow. So I'm going to plug yellow into 11 which is right here on the Arduino, right there. One, two, or so it starts eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. And then um, left trigger pin on the code is twelve, um, and blue is the trigger pin, so we're going to plug that into twelve. And here we want the metal facing this way, because that's going to be really accessible. Okay, cool. Um, that is the sonar connected, and then we just need to connect the ground on the Arduino to the ground line on the breadboard. So we want to connect this ground pin on the Arduino 
to the blue line on the breadboard. And we're going to connect this with this red wire, the five volt pin on the Arduino, which is one, two, three, four up. And that's going to go to the red line on the breadboard and give power to that section. Oops. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so now the power is going to go from the 5 volt on the Arduino to this red line, to this red wire, into the sonar sensor. Stuff is going to happen and it's going to come out to the blue line and into the ground for the Arduino. Cool, so this is all connected. So now we can run the code to test the sensor. So to do that, plug in the Arduino to the computer, go to the code, go to file, sketchbook, left sonar, click on that, and then upload the code and see if it succeeds, and it does. Then go to serial monitor right here in the upper right hand corner. And we can see the messages that the sonar sensor is sending back to the computer. So the sonar sensor sends out a message and waits how long it'll take to get back. So these numbers right here are the amount of time that that message is out before it comes back. And then this number right here is the calculated distance in centimeters. So right now the sonar sensor... It's actually sensing the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, so right now it's sensing the computer. Um, if I put my hand in front of it, it'll sense my hand. So it thinks my hand is about four and a half centimeters away, and it thinks the computer is about 25 centimeters away, which seems like reasonable calculations. So this works.